Once upon a time, there were three best friends. The first was a clever young witch called Willow Licorice. She had bright green hair and hazel eyes and a scar running down her right cheek. Willow had a knack for both finding trouble and getting into it. This was always helped by her magic. It was un- as unpredictable as a summer storm. Everyone would hold their breaths whenever Willow tried to cast a spell, never quite knowing what, what would happen next. Her best friend was Honeycomb, with long, flowing, honey-coloured co- hair. She was a magical fairy who was born without wings. While this made her a bit different from her other family members, Honeycomb did not let this hold her back. She was famous for taming dragons with her delectable dragon cookies and cupcakes. Then there was lovable and wise cheeky Jojo, a pink monkey covered in white spots. Jojo hated bananas but loved nothing more than chewing on feathers, which is a rather strange habit. Jojo also loved collecting different teddies, which due to a miscast spell had all come to life and he always had his little cuddly friends following him around. The trio's delightful friendship was a success and each of the friends kept each other out of mischief. Jojo had a knack for making Willow laugh, helping her keep calm when casting magic spells, while Jojo and his teddies were delightful baking companions and taste testers for Honeycomb's cooking experiments. Together they all lived in a giant tree full of magical wonder in the forest of secrets, one of the few places left on earth where magic was part of the world. They were always having adventures and solving the troubles of the other forest folk. One of the main people they had regular run-ins with was the grumpy, shape-changing creature called Starcatcher. No one knew his true form. He always seemed to be causing trouble around the woods, together with his funny octopus minions. When Milo's crazy magic accidentally turned Starcatcher into fi- a fire-breathing dragon, the dragon started burning the beautiful woods and seemed unstoppable. Jojo and his teddy friends stumbled across an ancient spell book and quickly rushed it to his friends. Just in the nick of time, they managed to use a long-forgotten spell to sap the power of a star of Starcatcher and turn him into a shrub, which put quite the dampener on Starcatcher's plans. The woods were saved, giving the people a little break from dragons and, and the such. And that was until Willow tried to cast another spell. The end. The end. <laughs> <sighs> so. Makes me tired. <laughs>